What is up, Alabama Nation and any LSU fans out there watching this video? It is that time of the year again, Alabama LSU Hate Week. And uh, I'm going to start this video out saying there's absolutely no chance in this world that LSU can outscore us this Saturday. Alabama's going to win this game. We could win this game 3 to nothing. LSU's not going to score. If they score, it's going to be either a field goal, it's going to be a special teams return, or it's going to be somewhat of a defense return uh, for a touchdown. There's no way that LSU offense is going to score one touchdown against our defense. There's no way in this world. Zach Mendenberger is probably the worst quarterback in the SEC. It's definitely been proven over the last few weeks. AJ McCarron, or the whole year, and the national championship game is AJ McCarron is not afraid to attack the LSU secondary. He's not afraid to attack any secondary. He went after Jonathan Bakes last week like it was nothing, who's probably and by far the best corner in the SEC. And they made him look like a middle schooler out there. So he's going to have no problem. It's going to be way different from last year. I mean, we were afraid to throw the ball downfield last week, last year against LSU. We're definitely looking for revenge. We're not going to lose to LSU two consecutive years or three consecutive years in, during the regular season. That's not going to happen. The streak is going to be end of this year. Uh, we're not going to lose to LSU again in the regular season. They're not going to. They're not going to come anywhere near stopping us from going to another national championship. There's no way. Uh, let me look at LSU stats. Their defense, yes, LSU's defense is quite well. They're a good defense, but the LSU has nowhere near enough a complete team to beat us. They just about every win they've had, aside from the first three weeks, have been close. I mean. They beat Auburn, who is the worst team in the SEC, aside from Kentucky, by two points. Two points. They almost got beat by Auburn. They gave up 22 points to Towson. They beat Towson by 16 points. Towson. Has any of you ever heard of Towson? No. LSU, uh, Florida. They got beat by Florida because their offense absolutely was terrible. Florida's... They lost to Florida, and Alabama could beat Florida by two touchdowns today right now easily. Florida does have a great defense, but you see what happens when LSU plays a great defense? They get put up six points. Six points. South Carolina, who has got absolutely destroyed by Florida, beat them by two points. Two points. They beat Texas A&M by five points. And if you watch early on in that game, it looked like Texas A&M was going to win that game by 50 points. Texas A&M looked like heads and shoulders above what LSU did. But LSU got lucky and created three turnovers and uh, took advantage of a freshman quarterback and picked the ball three times, which led them to a five-point victory. And it was still a close game, even though they got three interceptions. Because Zach Mettenberger was that bad. If he's that bad against Texas A&M's defense, who's, who's probably one of the worst defenses in the SEC, just expect how bad he's going to be against Alabama. I mean, it's just going to be... We're going to have 8, 9 in the box the whole game to stop Spencer Ware and the other running back y'all have. It's 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 not going to be any contest. I, I said in my uh, Alabama LSU um, prediction or whatever, I said 27-7 to 7 Alabama. I think... Hold on. I'm going to go 27-3 Alabama. 27-3. Like I said, LSU scored no touchdowns. They might get a field goal. With no touchdowns in this game. Heck, maybe give them, I'll, I'll go 27-6. I'll give them two field goals in this game. But they're not going to score a touchdown. It, it ain't going to happen. Um, I mean, I'll give you credit. They do have a, a stable of backs that can come in and might give them a play or two that'll, that'll break 20 plus yards. That might give them field goal territory. Um, Kenny Hilliard, Michael Ford, uh, Spencer Ware, all pretty good running backs, give you that. But you're not going to be able to beat us with running backs. You're going to have to throw the ball downfield, and that's impossible with Zach Mettenberger because he can't. He can against Towson, can against Florida, can against South Carolina, can against Texas A&M, can against Auburn. So it makes you think you can do it against Alabama. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. So we're going to attack those corners on first down. Uh, we're going to run the ball on you, and we're going to have no problem beating you in Death Valley. It'll it'll be it'll be silly. It'll be sad. Um, everybody in LSU world is gonna be hanging their heads because they're not gonna beat Alabama for the third straight time in the regular season. It's gonna be 
This is going to be a beat down in Death Valley, and Alabama's going to win this game 27-6, to and uh, there's nothing else to say. Um, T.J. Yeldon will break 100 yards in this game. A.J. McCarron won't throw an interception. He'll throw for two touchdowns. He'll throw for two, over 200 yards. It'll be a replica of that national championship game. Even though our defense, is, defense isn't as dominant, but um, I'll take a good defense over Zach Mettenberger any day of the week. So I'll see you guys later. That's been it. And uh, like I said, 27-6 Alabama. Hope you guys enjoyed. Roll Tide. Go Sox and go Titans to you. LSU is going down on Saturday night.